Hi, this is Nick with Firewalls.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create exceptions within your intrusion prevention policy, as well as how to apply it to specific zones. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into Manage, and I'm going to go ahead and create an address object here for the location of my exception. So I have a remote network that I'm going to be remoting in to this firewalls network. And I don't want it to be picked up by intrusion prevention. So I'm going to create an address object here. Before I go down to security services and intrusion prevention so that I can configure the settings because this is where you will configure your exclusion list and I'm going to set it to a single address object however here you can um, set up a address group if you have multiple address objects that needed to be excluded Perfect. Now, I also have a web server in a DMZ that I do not want intrusion prevention to be applied to. So in order to avoid any conflicts there, I'm going to go ahead and just remove uh, IPS from the DMZ entirely. And in order to do that, I need to go into Network and Zones. And from the DMZ, I need to ensure that IPS is off, which currently it is, which is good. That's what we're looking for. If it was on right now, I would just have to go into configure and uncheck enable IPS right here. And that is all you need to not only configure your exclusion groups for IPS, but how to apply it to specific zones. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.